And hi everyone, look, I'm here with Mark Zampello who is on page what, do you know? 55. Page 55 of the book. And this is actually the first time that I have been with somebody who has the actual book, who ordered it just a few days ago. It arrived from Amazon and then here he is at the conference with the book. It was so, so cute when I first saw him, he's like, I have with me. And I was so excited because this will be my very first signing of a book. And um, Mark, I just, I'm just so thankful that I got a chance to meet you. I mean, I love that you're young and your youth. You were raised here and in a in, in, um, culture where the parents are like, oh, be quiet and not to stay there. And look, you, you came and you're a leader. You you are moving up in your company. You are a very, very involved. Unipro Texas, shout out, okay? And, um, and so today I'm going to sign this and autograph this for um, Mark, my very first. And, um, and I'm ready to say, hold on, uh, dearest Mark. That's the same name as my husband. <laughs> Dearest Mark, this life is yours. This life is yours enough, okay? It's time to speak up. It's time to speak up. And be free. Dr. Abby. Thank you so much. We'll always have this memory, Mark, that we did this together. Yes. So here we are, Mark Zampello. Mark, if you want to tell us um, what this means to you or what you feel as far as being part of this book and part of this big movement. It's really a movement because we need to equip our youth and, and even our parents with the right ways to talk. Do you want to say anything about how you feel about you know, this? Um, <laughs> It's, it's actually very touching, Dr. Abby, that you are empowering future generations to really go into internally um, just, you know, find more confidence, uh, being able to just step up and speak out uh, in a way that's not disrespectful but honorable. Um, and it has, it's, it's crazy, I call it divine timing that, you know, I get this book and there are things that I'm trying to do in my community where it's not, you know, a lot of people aren't willing to push that envelope, but, you know, I want to speak up. I want to make waves because I know there are things that still need to be done in the community. Um, so, you know, part of it is just creating a Filipino American community center in Dallas. Oh, wow, yeah. Yes. So, I mean, already instead of just waiting, of course, doing my due diligence, but mm -hmm. making steps forward to raise money as a community to create a Filipino town and community center. Ooh. We have an event in October that'll start the annual tradition so that we reach our financial goals to reach those. But, you know, a lot of it is just being bold. And I just want to commend you for, and just share my appreciation and just um, affirm you in the work that you're doing. Oh, thank you. You are inspiring the future generations. You are equipping us. Um, and you are bringing healing to our community, so oh, just wow. want to thank you. Oh my goodness, thank, thank you so much, Mark. Yes. Yes, speak up, Anak. This is, this is you. You're the future, okay? Okay, thank you. Good luck in all you do. Thank you, Anak. <laughs>